and indivisible liberty and justice for all. And thank you and welcome to everybody to the Upper Chichester Township Board of Commissioners meeting, October 13th, 2022. George, can you do the roll call, please? Sure thing. Commissioner Baco? Here. Commissioner Godioso? Here. Commissioner Murkowski? Here. Commissioner Neary? Commissioner Whitaker? Lisa Catania? Michael Pierce? Here. And myself, George Needles, present. Thank you. We'll open up the phone lines for the citizens. Uh, to make a comment by dialing 571-748-4021. That phone number again is 571-748-4021. Enter in 452-455-131 as the code. The code again is 452-455-131. To unmute your phone, dial star six. At the unmute your phone, state your name, address, and begin your comment. You'll be given two minutes to speak, and then we will place you back on mute. Phone lines will be open for a few minutes. Starting today. Let me make a, a correction real quick. That code again was 452-455-131-POUND. Sorry about that. Take note, we had no calls in, call in tonight. We're open up to the floor here tonight at the uh, building. Pastor, you have anything tonight? Thank you very much. Chief? Is there any chief here? <laughs> okay, uh, prior to tonight's meeting, we uh, the board had an executive meeting uh, prior to this meeting tonight uh, regarding some legal matters. I uh, need a, uh, approval of the minutes from the September 8th, 2022 Board of Commissioners meeting. So moved. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So ordered. Number 6 through 12 will be read from Madam Vice President Nicole Whitaker. Thank you, Mr. President. Good evening, everyone. A couple of announcements. Uh, Upper Chichester Township Community Day event uh, will be held here at Fury Road. Um, this coming Sunday, September the 16th, from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m., uh, and the event will conclude with fireworks at dusk. Also, um, we will be hosting another table or treat event 
here at uh, Fear Road Complex on Saturday, October the 29th, beginning at 6 p.m. This is open to all of the Rochester um, residents and bring their children out. Consider a resolution adopting the Heart and Soul Community Report as a planning document of Upper Chichester Township. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? So ordered. Consider a resolution authorizing an application to be made to Delaware County Green Greenways Grant Program for Phase One Kingsman Road, excuse me, Kingsman Park Improvement Project. So moved. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? So ordered. Consider a motion authorizing the township manager to secure an appraisal for the Ogden Elementary School property. So moved. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? So ordered. Consider a resolution authorizing an application to be made to DCNR special grant round for the purchase of the Ogden Elementary School property subject to the township securing an agreement of sale from the Chichester School District. So moved. Second. Any questions? Justin, uh, they've indicated that they are still interested uh, as previously discussed with us the solicitor is currently out of the country, so uh, I've been communicating a little bit back and forth with uh, the district on settings. Any other questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? So ordered. Consider a motion accepting the resignation of Kevin Fisher from the Recreation Board. So moved. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Opposed? So ordered. Number 13. Through 21 will be read by Commissioner Junior. Thank you. Uh, consider a motion approving the distribution of the 2022 state municipal pension aid in the amount of $357,451.17. So moved. Second. Any? I'll amend my motion to say consider a resolution approving <laughs> the distribution of the 2022 state municipal pension aid in the amount of three fifty three hundred fifty seven thousand four hundred fifty one dollars and seventeen cents. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Opposed? So ordered. Consider a resolution authorizing the disbursement of Upper Chichester Township's foreign fire insurance premium tax allotment of $107,770.35 to the Boothwind Fire Company Relief Association, so moved. Second. Uh, any questions? Well, as mentioned last week, all letters were turned into George with the agreement with the all three fire companies. This is a, another step towards a consolidation in the one, one fire company, so baby steps, but, but they're getting there. So all in favor. Uh, opposed. So order. Consider a motion authorizing an application to be made to the Pennsylvania Commission on Crime and Delinquency Local Law Enforcement Grant Program in the amount of $771,625. So moved. Second. Any questions? Yes. George. George. Yes. Yes, uh, it's a sorry. I'm having an issue with the microphone. Uh, it's a uh, a retention and technology upgrade grant are the two uh, main components of it. So there are uh, retention bonuses for part time and uh, recently hired uh, police officers in there. A significant amount of uh, funding towards updating of the uh, software we currently use for um, uh, in in the vehicles for tracking all of the reports and everything calls that come in. Uh, there's also uh, additional uh, funds in there for car cameras, body cameras, as well as uh, funding for a uh, a non-sworn, uh, like non-uniform records retention uh, personnel. Can it be used for 
any additional traffic cameras that we have or no? I cannot. Okay. It was also a grant for non-police personnel. Did you see that? Is that the, the same there, type of grant? Uh, I'll have to look at it. There was a component of this where you could, uh, for, for uh, non -sworn, like non non-uniform employees for the police. And we did conclude one into the uh, equation for that. And that was for the records retention. Any other questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? So ordered. Consider a motion ratifying the hiring of Terry Shearling for the position of part-time crossing guard. So moved. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Opposed? So ordered. Move to table number 17 through 20, the motions appointing special fire police until such time as the um, this paperwork is in order. Thank you. Any questions? It's more administration paperwork that has to be done before they're officially allowed to be a fire police. So right. All in favor on the table? Aye. Opposed? So ordered. Consider a motion approving the list of bills in the amount of $555,154. I'm sorry, $962,691.01. And Second. <laughs> Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? So ordered. I'm sorry, I was looking at. I was sorry to say, wait, I, I like that the, number better, though. <laughs> yeah, but I was looking at the list that was under my name, not the list of on the bills. Somewhere. And that's all I have. Thank you. Uh, next, we have number 22 down to 30, you said? The number 30, the Commissioner Gordier. So, sure. Thank you, the board <laughs> motion against 2313 Thomas Avenue and its owners and the court under Pennsylvania Act 135. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? So ordered. Thomas Avenue and its owners and the courts under the Pennsylvania Act 135. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? So ordered. As a petitioner against 2398 Booker Avenue and its owners in the courts of the Pennsylvania Act 135. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? So ordered. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Opposed? So ordered. Through a bond reduction in the amount of $533,282.00. Second. Any questions? Lisa, is that there, uh, what you talked about last week with the reduction of the 49,000? Okay. All in favor? Two. Okay. Two forty. Thank you. Um, all in favor? Opposed? So ordered. Application for Group. Second. Any questions? Yes. Extended application group. All in favor? Opposed? So ordered. Senator Mitchell accepted the extension by the applicant for the land development application for 801 Bethel Road. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Opposed? So ordered. Senator. 2032-2034 Focus Street. Second. Any questions? Just 
Thank you. All in favor? Uh, Opposed? So ordered. Thirty-three, Market Street. Second. Uh, any any questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? The order. Thank you. Next, we'll move along with Commissioner Joe Biaco from number thirty-one through thirty-four. Thank you. Consider a motion approving payment request number two from AF Damon for the twenty. 22 road program in the amount of $64,045.46. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Opposed? So order. Consider a motion accepting the bid of more construction services incorporated for the Peach Street, Bum Street, Cherry Street stormwater improvements project in the amount of $441,565. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? So ordered. Consider a motion authorizing the township manager to file a TE-160 for Conchester Road and Bethel Road slash Chelsea Business Park access to remote to remove overnight flax from the program chart. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? So ordered. Announcement of the Delaware County Household Hazardous Waste event to be held on Saturday, October 15, 2022, at the Fury Road Municipal Complex. For more information and to pre register, visit www.delcoswa.org. Second. Uh, that, that was just an announcement to, oh, sorry. Pub, to the public. Uh, is there a deadline, George, that they they could call up to tomorrow or, or just a. Okay. Let's see, put that out there. Okay, then we'll move along to our commissioner's report. And it looks like we got most of it done doing that tonight. Uh, we'll move to Madam Vice President Nicole Whitaker. As I mentioned earlier, um, to the public just to come out for community day. We have over 50 vendors. Um, the setup uh, looks really nice. We we have a section exclusively for um, our food vendors. We also have, um, we're gonna have 50-50. We're gonna have a open up the day with a Zumba workout. We'll have um, some performances and we'll also have um, what is it? The um, wing eating contest. Um, so a lot, it'll be a lot of fun events. It is free. We'll also, oh, moon bounces. So we'll have the moon bounces, which is um, something that we always have at, at Community Day. So it'll be a fun event for the family. Um, share, post it to social media, and um, hopefully we'll have another good turnout like we did last year. Uh, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Anything to be brought to the attention of Commissioner Whitaker? Yeah, just compliment Brian on pulling it off on an 8.30 Eagles game. <laughs> uh, he had that all planned. I know he did. We'll move along to Commissioner Neary. Thank you. Uh, the uh, financial uh, reports as well as the police reports are available in the office, as well as the tax collector's uh, monthly report, the resolutions that we passed this evening. And that is all I have. Anything to be brought to the attention, Mr. Neary. Now we're we'll moving along to Commissioner Michael Guardioso. Thank you, Mr. Budget items. And as I indicated last week, uh, we will be looking to see if we can get a uh, budget line item in next year for a new vehicle for those inspections. That's all I have. Do you think they'd be brought to the attention of Commissioner Guardioso? I was going to ask George to see if he could find another Ford Ranger. <laughs> uh, we were looking at 
tires. Yeah, like either a Ford Transit van or like a uh, a Ford uh, Escape, something smaller on the smaller side. Right now we use the Explorers. It's a little bit too much vehicle for what we need. Okay. And Commissioner Neary, did we have a, a date for the budget? You want to make an announcement for that, for the budget? Monday. 24th or something? I'm not sure. The next public meeting for the uh, budget review will be October 24th, which is a Monday night at 7 p.m. here at the Township Building. Thank you. We'll move along to Commissioner Joe Biacco. Thank you. A um, couple things to update. Uh, we're still negotiating with the Highway and Sanitation Department. Uh, we meet again Monday, right, George? The, th the 24th. Okay. Um, I thought it was this Monday. All right. We meet again with them Monday, the 24th. Um, not much to report on that. They, we haven't heard back with what we uh, presented to them and them to us. Um, we finally got a meeting with the sewer over this uh, sewer line that's gonna be run with Lower Chai. We're gonna meet with them October 20th. I think it's me and Ed going and Joe DeMarco from the Sewer Authority. Yes. And give you an update next meeting on that. And that's all I have. Anything to be brought to the attention? Nicole, if I'm not around, are you available on the 20th? Is it? Yeah, the 20th, Thursday, 6 30. 6 30. All right, that's fine. I'll make sure I'm there. I was just giving my little help. <laughs> so, anything to be brought to the, uh, yeah, I know. Anything to be brought to the attention of uh, Commissioner Biacco? If not, we'll move along to my report, which is short and sweet. The reports are in, except for the um, fire marshal again. Uh, we'll have to do something, talk about that for 2023. Um, medic unit is going crazy. Um, I, I don't know, George, somehow we may want to talk to the county, somebody. Because we, we are everywhere. Right? And it's, and so are, so is everybody else. That's the problem. Um, Everybody but Crozier, put it that way. I don't care if it's on record or not. So um, <laughs> we're doing a lot of cover up for them because they're downsizing and everything. And it's, this is, wasn't the intention. This was the intention when they came to us to give us a, 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 a bill that would be unbelievable to use our services. And now they're not even providing throughout the whole county. So it's, it's rough out there. Well, the other day they did 13 calls. In one day, uh, and that's not a double dispatch. They're being dispatched between eight and thirteen times a day. Um, How so, many of them are out of? Understand? Well, I did that. I I actually documented back in May. I have that number. It was uh, probably a third of them. Um, unfortunately, now, and there's got to be a way, and and I'm getting it out there because the residents aren't going to be happy. Is they're being pulled into the city of Chester, and I don't think it's right. I don't. So we need to figure out, the county needs to figure out what we're doing. I mean, it, this was not our sole purpose, knowing that we have a medic unit. Eventually, three years, five years from now, you may have a partial paid fire department during the day. It, it's it's coming everywhere. It's uh, But it's not getting any better. So, or we go to the other towns like Persia did and start asking money from them. We have to do something. Um, no, no, Christiana backed out. Right, Christiana did back out. And now I think they're arguing in court with Delaware County Hospital because they want to close it, but the county don't. So, right. Right. So, well, they've been, they've been repositioned in that hospital in Springfield for the last two years. So, <laughs> that's... <laughs> Right. Excuse me. Units. I, I don't know that answer. Um, I do know it, it's weird because of the union. At one time, they were part A and part B. 
and it's my understanding talking to Booth Wins, uh EMS people that they're combining them together now. But that doesn't mean they're going to have more ambulances available. I know they sit one Bethel Township and they sit one in Marcus Hook, but they get pulled to the city. So that means hours are being pulled too out of Upper Chai. So and Aston. Aston's getting pulled too. And and they're they run their ambulance with I don't know if they're paid. The BLS is paid, but they have a car from the hospital at Aston, not a rate. So they're in Aston in this area, Aston, Bethel, and Marcus Oak, but not all the time. That's the problem. So you don't so we don't have that they there has been times in the summer they would pull a unit out of service in the city because of lack of manpower or units take it out of marcus hulk and move it to the city and that means everybody else dominoes into marcus hulk and Aston and everybody else so, so is yes closure run, runs are I don't know what their I don't know what their agreement is, but I mean, Rosier. Uh, nah. Media, I think, is probably the closest yeah. one that we can conquer. And and Brookhaven, Brookhaven runs up, but they run BLS. They don't run AOS. So we can't we can't refuse to go. Not on mutual aid, no. But why are we going into a city when they're supposed to be? Well, you have, you have mutual aid in Delaware County, and they're part of Delaware County. So I know you talked, I know you had mentioned to the solicitor before about a meeting, but I haven't seen anything. Like, you can't kind of dictate what. Why can't process. we, why can't we send a letter like every, like Crozier did to everybody? You want our services. This is what it's going to cost you. I don't know if we could do that. I mean, it's. I've certainly seen Crozier here as well. They're in. Right. Okay. So it's, and we may be running more. I'm not taking sides here. I'm just saying mm -hmm. that if Brookhaven gets called over here, then Brookhaven's up. Right. But so so right. we may need to have more detail and say, you know, we're getting called more than, you know, an inordinate amount of time. But under, I guess, mutual aid agreements, I don't mm -hmm. think you have a lot of right. options. We are, we are because it's, and also, I know again, this is affecting the entire county. It would be good if we had, you know, an update from the county, like what they're trying to do, what they're for the health department. Do. No, for a, for EMS. EMS period. Yeah, we're being pulled more because we're the second ALS unit. Everybody else is BOS, so okay. it goes from Crozier to us. Because we're the ALS here. And we're good. I, I will I will give them all credit. They are good. So other than that, we'll move along. Um, the emergency management, I think they're moving along with their contract for the uh, new plan. Uh did get an update. They do have like an intern coming from Jefferson, I think it is, where Mr. Robinson told me that's going to be like helping them out in any paperwork they need to do or St. Norman as a College credit for his masters and uh, helping the gentleman with the contract and the emergency management team itself for this uh, emergency management plan they want to put together for Upper Chaya. We'll move along with our professionals. We'll start with the township engineer, Catania engineer, Lisa. Thank you, Mr. President. You do have a copy of my report. Most of the items were already discussed or acted on this, this evening. Just a couple things. Uh, I do have the contracts for Tara Circle. They've been executed by the township. We're waiting for one. Are you you got them? Okay. We were waiting for uh, the contractor failed to to sign one section of, of the contract. So we will be getting those out. We'll have a pre-construction meeting, advise the residents around that area that we are going to be working in that area, although we're not going to be working 
on any property other than the uh, township property. Did want to mention that there is another grant that's coming out, and um, and I'm just going to mention it because I'm not sure where where we stand with with grants at this point. Uh, there was a small sewer and water grant that we utilized for the Bergdahl Basin. That grant is due on the 21st of December. It's up to a half million dollars. The other grant that is involved with that, that is a larger amount, is the H2O grant. Uh, again, a DEP grant that's for for for, for projects over five hundred thousand dollars. So they're out there. We have some work that needs to be done. We do have a list of of stormwater issues that I believe that uh, the director of maintenance, superintendent of maintenance, has provided you. Uh, I want to make sure that you're aware that those grants are available. That's all I have, unless anyone has any questions. Is the uh, what's the matching for the H two H two O? Is there a matching? I believe it's twenty percent. Okay. Uh, also, one quick thing: um, did did we finalize anything with Wawa and profit? I mean, moving. I, I thought I saw an extra sign put up. I'm not quite sure if it was there before. A left hand turn going in, but it's way back by the pizza shop. Yeah, I noticed that tonight, and and I'm not aware that they 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 actually applied for an addendum to their permit. I haven't seen anything that they received that approval from PennDOT. So I'm not sure who put that sign in. I did last Thursday receive an email with a revision for McKay Avenue. Although I received an email this afternoon to disregard it because the contractor says it is um, not constructible. So they provided another detail of putting inlet on the K and tying it back into the site. I, I want to take a look at it. I received it about 1.30 this afternoon. So they are moving forward. They have not done the punch list as of yet, uh, which is why we're holding money on the Wawa side as well as Side. Now, they put that storm pit in or the storm drain there. Would that go through Mike's property or would it connect into Mike's property? It actually goes driveway, okay. driveway uh, ingress and egress. Oh, wow, well, there. Okay. <laughs> and there any other concern, then, just to take note, keep in the back of your mind, because they're, they're both down again on the island. I think the issue is that sign needs to be more back into the brick area because they're so close to that concrete that every time they put it up, it's back down again. Frankfeld's PPD and I spoke of that the day we were out there. Okay. Planning that. Because I don't know who put it up, but the next thing you know, it's back down again. So I would just leave it down until Wawa takes care of it or whoever's got to take care of it. But called me two days later and said, it's back down. Again. Yeah, so. Okay. Anything to be brought to the attention, the engineer? Not. Whoop, okay, Mike. Yes. yes. Not yours. That's a long haul. <laughs> okay. Now we're moving. <laughs> we'll move along to our solicitor, <laughs> Mike Pierce. Thank you, Mr. President. You have a copy of my report in there. All the action items were taken care of. Uh, just an update. Uh, we do have another conference call tomorrow related to the Board of Health issues and the um, uh, certifications for our health officers. Uh, we're coordinating among the, uh, the plaintiffs in that, which are uh, include uh, Aston, Upper Chichester, <coughs> excuse me, Darby Township, Ridley, Springfield, and a few others, just to make sure that all of our certifications uh, are consistent and that we make those submissions in a timely fashion uh, to the judge. There were some questions and they're being addressed uh, by the various boards. I may have some questions uh, for the township manager, which I'll address with him uh, if and when the need arises. But uh, other than that, everything is in order, sir. Anything to be brought to the attention of solicitor? If not, we'll move along. I need uh, to consider a motion yeah. under See that there. Sorry about that, George. You good? Yeah, all my reports are on file. 
Yeah. Okay. Jeez. I think most of this on this was yours anyway, was it? <laughs> That's fine. Sorry about that. I got to take note on that. Make sure it's yours. Um, under new business, we do have something under new business. Uh, I need somebody to consider a motion to add the font. Michael would be doing it, it says, I guess, uh, uh, the following item to the agenda. Consider a motion accepting the extension created by the application for the subdivision land development application for 900 Township Line Road. Okay. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? So ordered. Yes, sir. Consider construction of certain documents for the Pennsylvania Municipal Record Retention Act. Second, we're acting. We add that version. I'm sorry. I'm to add that first. To say that it's being amended. Mm -hmm. Right. So, uh, for for the motion. That's what it is. To add it to the agenda. Should I read the and then um, also really consider adding the resolution to the agenda also disruption of certain documents for the, for the Pennsylvania Municipal Record Protection Act. Then, uh, All in favor? Aye. Opposed? So ordered. Now we act on it. Okay. Consider a motion accepting the extension granted by the application for the, for the subdivision land development application for 900 Township Line Road. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Any questions? All in favor? Opposed? So ordered. Anybody have anything else before we go on? Not need a motion to adjourn. All in favor? Opposed? Night.